in the land of grills. Yeah, when's the last time you seen me cook on the Baby Blue Weber Q1200? This thing has actually got a rotisserie, and I have spun a full chicken on there, folks. Hard to believe. Those of you who are interested in this, if you live in the southeastern part of Wisconsin, guess what? Go to Tom Horseman on Facebook. This is for sale. Real deal going on right now. But today, we're going to do a sear some steak on there, take a look at the setup on it. And these things are phenomenal. And I love, just love, the cart. The cart folds up, and it fits a lot of the different Q series from uh, Weber. But it makes it perfect for camping. makes it perfect for tailgating. And it just makes it perfect overall. And you've got these side shelves here that fold back up. It's just a really good design by Weber. I really like it. And the colors... I love it. And then you've got a pull-out grease tray on there that is very similar to a lot of the gas grills that Weber has. Oh, let's take a look at the steak. Let's get it fired up. You can see I've got a light on there. That, that's an aftermarket thing that I, from Weber that I added on. The uh, rotisserie is from Only Fire. I'm not even sure if they make that anymore. In Europe, in Europe, <laughs> Weber made the uh, rotisserie attachment but didn't make it available to us folks here in the United States. But I got one from uh, Only Fire online. Well, let's keep on going here. So these things uh, are really made because they're portable to run off of these things, these Coleman things. But there are adapters available that you can hook it up to a 20 pounder. So when it comes to storing, because they are small grills, these shelves fold right in like this. Top goes down like this. Now, the stand, you've got these things that hold it in place. And remember, this stand was made for all the cues. And that whole thing uh, just folds up really, really nice. If I can find some videos that I did before on the Q1200, I'll put that down below in the, in the description if you are interested. All right, all is, oh my God. <laughs> I love my chuck eye steak. And I even love this stuff even more. Fire and water cooking, all purpose black garlic seasoning, folks. Leave the link down below, but this stuff is phenomenal. All right, 10 minutes. And it's a little over 500 per the... Uh, this probe right here, the Weber probe. Weber's done a good job of making sure because a lot of these smaller gas grills just get hot. And there's either <laughs> one setting, it's either off or hot. <laughs> but uh, Weber's done a good job here. We've got our cast iron here. Let's just shoot some temps here. You can see we're in the 600s, even though the probe said 500. We are definitely in that area. 600 is where I like to be for a sear and steak. And that's where we are on the cast iron. On the Weber Q1200, let's uh, keep on going, sear some steak. There's steak, ready to put it on. Look at that, 550. And you're, you're saying, okay, wow, wow. But you know, <laughs> if you buy a cheaper gas grill, folks, uh, and you'll get them really impressed because like I said, you turn them on and it's like 800 degrees. This thing, the Weber, regulates the Q12. And this is smaller of the Qs, and it does a very nice job. And uh, let's uh, let's get our steak on, shall we? Just like that. Close it down and give you a look. All right, so we did a minute and a half, did a turn, and did uh, two minutes. Now let's just uh, flip them. Oh, look at that. Ah, look at that. Oh, that's very, very nice. Keep on going here. Do the same thing. Probably two minutes. And then a little turn. And another two minutes. Give you a look-see. Very right, let's nice. Let's take a final look-see. <laughs> look at that. Nice. Very nice. Ready to come off. Put it up, let them rest, give you a look-see. On the Weber Q1200. All right, there it is. Oh man, I love rare steak. I love it when it's seared on the outside like this is. Oh man, even the thinner one looks good. I'm, I'm uh, definitely gonna eat that. Tom Horseman YouTube. On the Weber Q1200, you haven't seen that in years. I'll see if I can find the videos, leave them down below for you. Thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.